Hello again. You know, I'm very angry with you because when I came to the fourth floor, Jumbo Josh wasn't there. There was nobody there at all. There was no guard at the entrance. And in the throne room, there was no queen. Do you happen to know anything about this situation? Wait, no, no, no. It can't be that someone freed them from there, right? We need to think. Do you happen to know how to fix everything? Well, judging by your story, it seems I have to help you, because I really don't want to see my brother with purple eyes. Let's go then, quickly! I'm running. If anything, you can start. I'll be guarding the entrance. Never thought we could become partners. A human and a mutant, intellect and brute strength. A fascinating combination. I think after we find the queen, we should become partners and work together. Oh, sorry. I didn't know why are you here. And you mean to say you've passed five floors already and haven't encountered any of your children? However, that's sad. Are you done? No? Okay. Why are you standing? I was thinking about what we will do after you create the skip I, I mean, where will we look for the queen? I already mentioned that when I was on the fourth floor, there was no one in the kingdom. No prisoners, no guards, and no queen. By the way, while you making details, I heard someone's footsteps. Maybe it was my imagination, but I think you should hurry, or we might encounter unwanted guests. Why am I rambling right now? Let's go. Make the skip hitter.
By the way, I wanted to ask, what do you think about Jumbo Josh? I hope you don't have any problems when you meet him. It's amusing to hear that from someone who did have issues with him. But still, yes, he might be a bit simple-minded, but everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. He has strengths such as raw strength, a good appetite, and let's not forget, his size, quite massive. In any case, I don't care about others' opinions. He's my brother, and I'm proud of it. My strengths are intelligence, the ability to think and find compromises in everything, and also the third eye, which helps understand the intentions of my interlocutor. I don't know why Jumbo took offense at me. We could have been good partners. Now, I'm looking for a way to reconcile with him. Well, I really hope everything is ready, right? I think we can move on, but the question is, where exactly are we going? Where should we look for the queen? As I mentioned before, she's not in the kingdom. Well, let's think about it together. If she's not in the kingdom, where could she have gone? I hope no one took her. After all, she's the queen, and who wouldn't want to rule a whole floor? By the way, queen's kings have their advantages. Firstly, they have their special items. For our queen, it's the scepter. Also, they can see everything that happens on absolutely all floors, and of course, they may never have to work. Back to our question, where should we go? Hmm, so, so. After the bitter giggle incident, and after she released all her dark energy, that's why she became the queen, as everyone feared that for 10,000 years, no one dared even chuckle in front of the queen. But as you can see, what happened happened. So where could the half-dead, weakened queen have gone? Hmm. Exactly. She could have gone to the hospital since there's an elevator to the sixth floor, and there's a hospital here. Oh no. Uh, no. 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 Not that. That's the worst option she could choose. Have you encountered it before? I really hope she didn't go to Syringen. He's the most bloodthirsty resident of the entire garden. He has mental issues. I think he needs to see a doctor rather than us going to him. Did you hear that? Well, it's not time to hesitate. We're moving right now.